That's his younger brother. But they're talking against the leader of Yah's people. They're talking against the leader that Yah has appointed to bring his people out of bondage. They're talking against Moshe because of the fact that they could find a little indifference with what he did. He married someone that was not an Israelite. And you know, our people vary. They like to tell men who to marry and who not to marry. They want to tell men how to do everything. Amen. You know our people. And they were telling Moses who he should marry. And uh, they spoke against man, Moses, because of this woman. Right? Y'all do that too, don't you? Might talk against me, who I married, right? Right? You don't need to turn your heads now. Y'all talk about me, who I married, who I don't marry. So you can see y'all got kinship to them people. Y'all are the same seed, so y'all not far away. This is that seed y'all come from. That anything ain't got, oh, it ain't what a beautiful class he told. It ain't, oh, look what I learned today. Oh, do you know who he married? Let me tell you. You understand? And that's just our people. And they all got, got to talking about Moses because of who he married. But the day in it is, y'all heard it. And what did y'all do? And they said, have Yahweh indeed spoken only by Moses? Well, you ain't the only teacher around here, man. Who you think you is? We can go somewhere else and, and learn you. You're not the only teacher. You think you're the only one he ever spoke to? Have Has he not also spoken to us? And Yahweh heard it. He heard it. And Yahweh spake suddenly unto Moses, and unto Aharon, and unto Miriam, Come out, ye three, unto the tabernacle of the congregation. And they three came out. And Yahweh came down in a pillar of a cloud, and stood in the door of the tabernacle, and called Aharon, and Miriam, and they both came forth. And he said, Hear now my words, if there be a prophet among you. I, Yahweh, will make myself known unto him. If in there be a prophet amongst you, I, Yahweh, will make myself known unto him. In a vision. In a vision. I will appear to him in a vision if there is a prophet. And will speak unto him in a dream. Well, I'll speak to him while he's asleep at night in a dream. My servant Moses is not so. Not with Moses. Who is faithful in all my house. Who is faithful in all of my house. With him. Will I speak mouth to mouth? With him will I speak mouth to mouth. Even apparently. Even apparently and not endorse speeches. And the similitude of Yah shall he behold. This man is very near to me, very precious to me. I manifest myself to him. Not in a vision, not in a dream, but the similitude, my likeness he beholds. He knows what I look like. You don't. Wherefore, then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? Wherefore, were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? And the anger of Yah was kindled against them. Anger of Yah was kindled against them. And he departed. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle. And behold, Miriam became leprous. White as snow. And behold, man became leopards as white as snow. White as snow. Leopards. So when she came white as snow, did she have the plague or did she have the disease? She had the plague. It had all turned white. She became white as snow. What raw, what not clean, just white as snow. Keep reading. And Aaron looked upon, and Aharon looked upon Miriam. And he looked upon Miriam. And behold, she was leprous. Now let's see what our people seen and how they undertook when they seen a white person. We seen a white person, and here's what we said. And Aharon said unto Moses. And Aaron said unto Moses. Alas. At last, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us wherein we have sinned and done foolishly. Is that what it say? Let her not. Lay not one. Read that again. Let you read it. it. Said, lay not the one. Lay, alas, my lord, I beseech thee, lay not the 